Hello everyone, if you did not hear the exciting news from Sony today, they had a live event on their PlayStation YouTube channel, and the event of course, was to announce the PlayStation 5. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the games that were specifically highlighted, I'm also going to talk about the controller and the console itself, because this is the future of gaming. I just want to quickly mention that this was supposed to originally be a showcase that was originally meant to be at the E3 Gaming Expo, but that was obviously canceled thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. So what Sony did was they did this live stream today, and of course, I have a couple of highlights that I will be showing you. So without further ado, let's get to the first main thing that I want to discuss, and that was the rumored... Rockstar announcement. For the past couple of days, Mr. Boss for the win on his YouTube channel, who is a credible source, he is best known in the community for news regarding Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA, was talking about the possibility of Rockstar Games making an announcement for this virtual event. It did come out that this was true. Now, first thing was, where are we going to get GTA 6? Was it going to be a remastered game or some kind of weird rumored PS3 game from a while back? Turns out, it was, in fact, a remaster. And as you are seeing here, this is, of course, GTA 5, which surprised me a lot. I would have never thought in a million years... That GTA 5 was actually going to be the game that would get remastered. I thought maybe they were going to make an announcement that, oh, well, you can play your PS4 games on your PS5. Well, that wasn't really specifically talked about today. But I want to mention in the YouTube description of the video, if you have a PS4 and you own GTA 5 like I do, you will be able to get the game for free during the first three months of the remaster version on the PlayStation 5. Of course, there'll be some expanded online adventures. Looking forward to that. And also, I want to mention that PS Plus members will get a million dollars a month. This is from now until the launch of GTA 5 online on the PS5. So you might as well check your GTA online account if you have PS Plus because this is going to be a big deal just to get started on the new console. So that was completely unexpected. I am very happy about this news. And of course, coming to 2021 to the PS5. We're now going to talk about Horizon Forbidden West, which... Sony is dropping the gun when it comes to all these titles that are going to be on this next-gen console. So, like GTA 5, they have high expectations for a lot of these titles. And one of them is, of course, Horizon Forbidden West. I want to mention that all of these games, Sony has confirmed that they have definitely confirmed this. don't want to stutter there for a second. Everything will be in 4K. That's the point I want to make. And as you see here, I got all of these trailers in 1080p. I couldn't really get the 4K converter to work. But look how stunning these graphics are. And obviously, this is a quick Crab Rave reference. Ooh, look at the fish. Yep. <laughs> but as I watch this trailer, I say to myself, can Sony out top themselves? And I certainly believe with the Xbox Series X being a huge driver to the market and considering the Nintendo Switch is still popular, this is what Sony is doing. They're living to their expectations. Certainly, I didn't get to play the remastered Horizon game on the PS4. Hopefully, I will get to it one of these days. Just depends on the price. 
But as you can see here, everything is so stunning and breathtaking. To me, seeing a new Horizon game on a next-gen console is just completely, completely stunning. And I'm just going to fast forward to something important. You'll see something shocking in a second. What is that? What the f is that? Literally, that was my reaction. What was that thing? What was that thing? My goodness. Uh, th th this thing may this thing is going to give me nightmares for for weeks now. It it may. I don't know if I'll even get an ounce of sleep tonight. Look at this thing. Is it supposed to be like a cybermatronic elephant or something? I am very confused. But this was just shocking at the end of the trailer to see this. So Horizon gets another highlight in this video. Another surprise today from Sony was an announcement regarding the next Spider-Man game. So this game will be called Spider-Man Miles Morals. It is set to be released sometime in 2021. And for me, I was just completely shocked how they just released the Spider-Man game a couple years ago on the PS4. Now they're releasing the next one on the PS5 in 2021. And I like how they definitely did an awesome job with the graphics here. And once again, you're just seeing the proof that these graphics look 10 times better than what the PS4 offered. So, Spider-Man Miles Mortars looks amazing. I only was completely shocked about Spider-Man today, but Sony, once again, dropped the ball on us with this announcement. Quick correction, I just want to mention, I said 2021, looks like it's going to be during the holiday season this year. So this is most likely going to be a launch title. Something else we did not expect as well was the announcement of the next Hitman game. For PS4, we got the remastered Hitman. For this generation of gaming, we will be getting a brand new Hitman campaign. So, very stoked and excited for this. We go back to the old nostalgic days of the PS2, I guess. And of course, when we got into this game in PS3 days. But now, after a long wait, we get the third Hitman game. Which, I am honestly very shocked about. I did not expect this. Horizon, maybe. Spider-Man was unexpected. But, Hitman. Hitman, Hitman, Hitman. I don't, I don't know what else is there to say. I'm just completely, completely excited to see what will come in 2021. Another title that got another acclimate today on my book was Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. A whole new twist in the Ratchet and Clank storyline. Now, for a couple years pre PS4 days, we really didn't hear much about Ratchet and Clank. They were very popular in the PS2 days, then came back in the PS4 days. So, this to me was something that I kind of expected a little bit. And as you're going to see in this trailer, it's just beyond crazy. One minute, you're in one world. And as you're going to see coming up now, as you're seeing here, look at this. They go to another dimensional world. Oh, they almost got hit by a roller coaster. And I'm just glad I can voice over this. <laughs> but yeah, this was just completely insane. I was like, how are they transporting to all these worlds? You know, this is the possibility of next-gen gaming. You have the graphics. You have the engine for it. 
this console is going to handle it very well, especially with all these 4K graphics. Just look how they are transforming the, all these worlds. This out tops every other open world game we've ever played. This could be bigger than Super Mario 64 from what it looks like. This could be bigger than Super Mario Wii for all we know. Not Super Mario Wii, Super Mario Galaxy on the Wii, I meant to say. <laughs> so, coming up, you're going to see something very shocking. I have this part on mute because I don't really want to get claimed for copyright. But coming up here, you will see a huge character change. Look at that. Look at that. If that's not shocking, I don't know what is. I do not know what is. That was the big ball drop Sony gave us today. Ratchet, a girl. How does this happen? How? You may be wondering. I don't know. But the main thing is, we really didn't get an announcement date for this. The other games today did get an announcement. So, could this be a possibility that this could be another launch title besides Spider-Man? That is a good question. I think yes. If not, worst case scenario, we will get this game in 2021. Hopefully in the first quarter. So, Sony once again, dropping the ball on yet another Sony exclusive title. Gran Turismo 7. What is there to say about this? For PS4, we had to wait a very, and I mean very long time, to get Gran Turismo 6. When I saw this trailer today, my first reaction was, this is going to be the best GT game ever. And... They have to do this, Sony. They have to. They are so behind. They let Forza dominate in the Xbox One market for Microsoft. So, for this to be announced was kind of expected for Sony. But, in a way, you have to understand something very important. Alright? You have to understand... Something very important here. From this gameplay, and I don't know what it is with this gameplay. Maybe it's just me. But I'm noticing that this looks so realistic. I mean, sure, they say it's the realistic driving simulator, but you literally feel like in this game that you're actually in the car you're racing, and this out tops G GT6 any day of the week. Any day of the week. Mazda Sport 6-speed transmission? I mean, that's just sick right there. That is just sick right there, you know? And Sony did give us gameplay today of this, as you're seeing here. And... For somebody who loves the GT series, and I still think the PS2 games are the best, no argument there. I just think that this is going to bring me back to those old nostalgic days of 6th gen gaming right here. This is definitely going to be it. Now as far as when GT7 should be coming out, once again, Sony really didn't make an announcement regarding the release date. But I'm hoping that maybe this will be another title at release later on this year, or hopefully sometime in 2021. NBA 2K21. This is very interesting because during the Sony Live event, New Orleans Pelican star Sion Williamson was featured in the trailer. And as you're seeing here, that is, of course, Sion Williamson. They really didn't show any other player in the NBA. I'm honestly disappointed Mitchell Robinson's not in here. Personal Nick preference. But looking at how realistic Sion Williamson is in this game, 
And not to mention, having Sony being the exclusive partner of NBA 2K21 is huge. Huge. Look at that rim drop, man. <laughs> now, I just want to mention something very important as you're seeing the NBA 2K21 logo. I just want to mention something important with the 2K21 logo. That Xbox, Microsoft, has a partnership with EA Sports for Madden NFL 21. Obviously, I'm happy that Lamar Jackson is going to be on the cover this year. Madden curse what? Pat Mahomes was on the cover, and he won the Super Bowl. And he got injured. So I think Lamar Jackson's going to be fine. Now, as far as that is concerned, if you pre-order the game Madden 21 on Xbox One right now, which I think you can pre-order, I'm not that sure. If you get the Xbox Series X, you're going to be able to play Madden 21 instantly on the next gen. So even though Sony confirmed that Madden 21 will also be on the PS5, it will be a little bit disappointing that it's not a Sony exclusive, but from today's announcement regarding 2K Sports and NBA, this is going to be a Sony exclusive. So it's possible that, like Microsoft, we're going to be able to play 2K21 on the PS4 when it comes out sometime later this fall. Because remember, with this pandemic we have right now, normally you would have a 2 gate game coming out in August. But given the circumstances that the NBA is still going to be playing in August, most likely, they're probably going to push the game back a couple months considering that game development's kind of easy. You can work from home. That's not the end of the world. I guess maybe there were some people in the gaming studios that were isolated. They probably could social distance, stuff like that. But looking at how realistic Scion looked, you know, it just gives me a lot of expectations that we're going to have a lot more to look forward to for the PS5 when it comes to sports games. Hopefully something will come out of it in the future regarding... MLB The Show 21? Only time will tell, right? Another open world game I am looking forward to is Astro's Play World. This is honestly Sony's attempt, I think, to come close to what Mario was like on the Switch, in my opinion. But. This is going to be very interesting considering that with this new DualShock 5 controller, it's going to feel realistic. You know, you may have a point like where Astro is trying to move around on the controller. He's in a windstorm. He's trying to tap on the button so many times that it's just hard for him to adapt to his situation. But... This is going to be exciting because they are fulfilling my needs. There's so many action games. And now we have, at the moment, two open world... Well, three open world if you count GTA 5. And hopefully we're going to get new online campaigns in uh, this gen of console. But Astro's Playroom. I am very excited. And it's going to be preloaded into our consoles. So you don't even have to pay for this. So... This is going to be a launch title. I'm very excited for that. And lastly, while we are on the topic of open world gaming, there is good news for us little Big Planet fans. Sackboy, a big adventure, is also going to be on the PS5. Which... This is, in a way, Little Big Planet 4, but, and I do mean but, <laughs> this is going to be complete open world. This is going to be way different than the first three Little Big Planet games. I love how they have all this excitement titled up into one game. And it's, again, the possibility of 
the gaming engine inside the PS5. It's something that no other gen of gaming is going to be able to offer us. There is so much we are going to look forward to once this new console comes out. They are trying to out top every major console release. Yeah, the Nintendo GameCube had some interesting releases. I even remember when... What other console I can think of? The top of my head. I think the Xbox 360 even tried to have a lot of interesting title releases at launch in 2005. So, it just proves the point that they're going all in with this. Sony has an expectation. And as you see here, there's so much that you're going to be able to do in Sackboy. It's just going to be insane. It's going to be so many limitless possibilities that we're going to be able to do. Now, as far as release is concerned, here's what we know regarding Sackboy. Right now, we do not know when this game is coming out. I'm assuming that this could probably be another title at launch or worst case scenario in 2021. So, only time will tell. So, just have to wait and see what the future of Little Big Planet is, aka Sackboy. Now, we are going to talk about the controller. Now, in a way, it looks similar to the DualShock 4, but the DualShock 5 has a couple of interesting features that I need to discuss, like adaptive triggers, for an example. You will see that. You're also going to see the USB port, a motion sensor, built-in mic and integrated speaker, headset jack, of course, DualSense wireless control. So that's going to be very important. So there you have it. PlayStation 5 controller. That is going to be huge. Now, as far as the console is concerned, well, a lot of people are complaining about one minor flaw regarding this console, but I do have a picture I did share to my Instagram story that I'll put on the screen shortly. So, as you can see here, it's going to be a white console. You're going to have your disc slot, of course. You're going to have your controller, of course. The famed PS5 logo. There will be two USB ports. Now, the only thing I would like to know is, are we going to be able to have an external HDD, external hard drive, like we were able to do with the PS4? I think we should be allowed to at launch we should be allowed to right there's also gonna be a catch now what is the catch you may be wondering there's also going to be a PlayStation 5 that has no disc slot it's gonna be the PS5 digital edition so I'm assuming that the Regular PS5 with the disc slot's probably going to be more expensive. It's going to be the opposite way, most likely. And you're also going to have a DualSense charging station. I want to mention that. You'll have an HD camera, Pulse 3D wireless headset. You also have a media remote because this PS5 is also going to have a 4K Blu ray player. If you get the PS5 with the disc slot, of course. So that's going to be very important. I'm going to leave this picture right now. Tell me what you guys think. You can leave your comments below. To me, I'm more excited about the headphones. Just because they're going to be wireless. And I don't have to use my Steel Series all the time. <laughs> that's going to be something I'm looking forward to. I mean, yeah, I could plug my Steel Series headphones in. But... I just like how they're going all in with the fact that they've realized over the years that we want to be able to have the controllers plugged into some kind of stand. So, it does make sense. I really hope they launch this at the start. Now, very quickly, I want to show this picture I found on Instagram. I put this on my story earlier today. If you were checking Andy's randomness on Instagram... This is what the console is going to look like, the one with the disc slot, if you lay it flat. 
Now, the only issue is we don't know where the fan motor is going to be. Obviously, with the PS4, with the regular standalone edition that I currently have right next to my laptop, we know that it's going... We know that the fan is in the back. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just looking at my text messages. That's why my vocabulary got messed up there. But is it possible we could have our PS5 laying this way? I'm hoping yes. Really am. I don't want to stand the console up because I really don't have room for it. But I do notice that it does look a little thinner. So the only other thing that Sony didn't talk about today was the price and the storage size. I was watching Review Tech USA a half hour before the live stream began and a person commented, is it possible that maybe they'll say two terabytes should be the maximum storage size for the lowest bit you can get? Sony should in fact look into at least a two terabyte starting model. Hopefully they'll do four terabyte, eight terabyte, and then worst case scenario, maybe they'll do 10 or 12 terabytes. All depends on what happens, but this is what PS5 is going to look like. Bottom line is, this is what we're going to deal with here. I mean, I know it looks futuristic. We're welcoming in a new decade with a futuristic looking console. And considering the fact that I guess Sony is paying some homage to the PS2 in a way that it has been 20 years since the PS2 was launched back in 2000. So, Sony did hit a home run today with their launch. So, I think with that, as I get the closing trailer here, all I'm just going to say is, today, Sony did meet our expectations. 100% for some people. Some people kind of felt disappointed. And I'll just mention today, for yours truly, that I was just disappointed that we didn't get an announcement regarding Watch Dogs 3. Maybe it's because Ubisoft will have an announcement sometime in the near future i would hope that maybe we'll get Watch Dogs 3 in 2021 i would love to see that happen that's all up to ubisoft and looking at it this way if we had e3 this year i'm sure ubisoft would have had a panel most likely or they would have said this is when we expect to release Watch Dogs 3 and for me I was looking forward to seeing the game being set in London, like the trailer originally promised. We were supposed to get it this year, but apparently Ubisoft decided to hold off because it just made sense. Look at it this way. You already have the PS5 and the Xbox Series X coming out. Just hold off. It's all you have to do. It doesn't take that long. And again, we didn't get an answer about storage space. We didn't get an answer about the price. Um, if I were to make an estimation for the price, I would say the digital only edition is probably going to be $399. That's a reasonable price because obviously right now with the recession going on right now, a lot of people aren't going to want to pay $500 just for a digital only console. It should be two terabytes. It should be $399. The disc edition should be $499 worst case scenario. So that's the way things look. I was very excited to watch this announcement live today, so only time will tell to see what Sony is also going to say. So, I think with that, thank you all very much for watching, and one quick prediction, I think this console should be out within six months. So hopefully by the holiday season, like they keep saying, the PlayStation 5 will be available for the market. So with that, thank you all for watching. Until the next one, please take care.